In separate incidents, CIA interrogators threatened Abd al-Rahim al-Nashiri. He's the man suspected of plotting the deadly bombing of the USS Cole, according to knowledgeable sources familiar with the 2004 CIA report. Sources confirm one interrogation session involved a gun, another an electric drill, both meant to scare the al-Qaeda prisoner into giving up information. And Newsweek reports mock executions were staged, including one where a gun was fired in a room next to a detainee to make him believe another prisoner had been killed. The American Civil Liberties Union, which sued to get the CIA report released, called the tactics under the Bush administration, quote, not only reprehensible, but illegal, and said the American public has a right to know the full truth about the torture that was committed in its name. Although the government had authorized such controversial techniques as waterboarding, the use of a gun and drill fell outside approved tactics. A CIA spokesman said, quote, The CIA in no way endorsed behavior, no matter how infrequent, that went beyond formal guidance, and added that Justice Department officials reviewed any cases of alleged misconduct. But the report could renew questions about whether the Bush administration went too far in the name of national security. Former Vice President Dick Cheney has maintained the interrogation program as a whole was needed to keep the country safe. The intelligence officers who questioned the terrorists can be proud of their work, proud of the results, because they prevented the violent death of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of people. For the Obama administration, the report's release means a delicate balance. We will not be doing anything that would endanger um, the American people or uh, in some ways lessen our, our, our national security. But some fear the release will have a chilling effect on intelligence officers trying to do their jobs. We will teach timidity uh, to a workforce that we need to be uh, vigorous uh, and active. Attorney General Eric Holder is expected to announce soon whether he'll appoint a special prosecutor to investigate the Bush administration's interrogation policies. Elaine Quijano, CNN, Washington.